Hi, it's uh, Mike Stevenson here. So in the video today, I want to talk just a little bit about um, a problem that I've been having with some of my demos. So I got um, we've got this feature in Serverless 360, which is about um, cost analyzer, or, or it's for monitoring your costs on Azure. And I um, I've been getting this alert on my email for a couple of days here. So you can see I've got a a cost violation so i've got a daily budget configured for my demos and, and i started getting this alert and i kind of wanted to work out what what have i done that's um, caused this problem so if you think um if you think in the real world quite often your azure costs creep up you didn't realize it um, until the time comes to review or pay the bill but with their uh, cost analyzer i've got a, a bunch of demos and i've got some budget set for each of them so that I can keep a track of, um, you know, firstly for demo and the feature itself, but also just to keep a track of um, not spending too much money on them. So if we go into the Azure portal, you can see here we've got the cost analyzer area for the subscription. You can do budgets and cost alerts in here, but it, it's just painful to use as the big problem. It's, um, you know, you come in, it takes ages to load. You can see these pretty graphs but actually mining into the data is a, a bit of a problem and you can see if I looked in here I, I would see I'd start um, going over the credits that we've got um, so I need to start doing something about this but the problem being it, it's just difficult to work out where am I actually spending this money and I, I have to go and mine into it so what I um, what I did is I've got serverless 360's cost analyzer module so if you go back to our home page you would see we've got cost analyzer here i can go and have a look what i've got and i know my integration platforms um currently on an overspend and i'm, I'm not within budget at the minute so the, and, and actually you can see i've been getting some violations firing over here so i can go and have a look at where i'm spending my money and what i noticed was if i have a look at my cost by month graph um, you can see I've, I've kind of had this sort of upward trend recently in in the cost um, I kind of went and had a look in my cost by resource group and you can see here I've got my platform spends shot up recently and I'm kind of trying to work out where, where am I actually spending the money so I can go into my cost by resource and straight away here it's really obvious that um, that the you know this resource was costing me next to nothing and it suddenly cost started costing me more money so what what is it that's causing that so i know that um that storage account i've just recently configured some ftp demos and i think it's probably something to do with either the amount of storage or something to do with that sftp setup um the over here you can see in the monitoring so here we've got a monitor enabled and this is the thing that kind of told me about the, the issue that i was having so i've got my alerts coming up here you can see i've got some configuration so i've got email alerts firing out i can trigger it to teams if i want um we've got the status calendar here so you can see this is when my my cost alerts were kind of firing out um in Cost Analyzer, we do have features around optimization, so I don't currently have anything configured at this level, but in a future video, I'll probably talk about the, the data gateways here. Um, but you know, from my analysis, I know my storage accounts the problem, and what I kind of forgot here was um, that the um, storage accounts, when you have the SFTP enabled up until um, last year, you didn't have to pay for the FT, like an extra cost for the ftp which i think is a new thing they added um and because i'm now using that in the demo and i've just recently turned this on that's why my cost kind of crept up but this kind of helped me zone in which resource is the problem and we you know we can start seeing the trend of um where the spend's gone you, you could use these filters to produce other graphs if you wanted to um you know mine a bit further into your data and i think our value with cost analyzers just the simplicity of being able to to mine into the data and also you know when you build these nodes you can save these reports and just make it easy to start working out where you're spending your money in the different areas so hopefully that's a quick five minute video on how i've just troubleshot where my cost increases come from and hopefully it'll help other people to save some money